Hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. As always, I'm Shane. You can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. You can also go over to codecrowdy.com. Sign up for the newsletter if you haven't already. Today we are on episode number 92. I'm going to quickly go over a module that is called the Form Builder module. It's on drupal.org at pro slash project slash form underscore builder and it basically the goal of this module is to be a centralized interface for building out various form elements. However, right now I believe it only works for ex actually exporting the form API code that give basically gives you the PHP code that you can drop into a module and use. It also can be integrated with the web form module, I believe. I'm just going to go over the first option and how you can use it to build or at least get a baseline of some of the PHP code necessary to implement your own custom form in a custom module. And it doesn't necessarily provide the cleanest of all form API code, but it can get you started. So we're going to go ahead and just take a real quick look at what it can do. It's kind of a fancy looking module once you get it, get it going. and you, It's all Ajax and JavaScript based, so it's pretty nice and easy to use. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the form builder module and this module is more of a framework so without any of the other implementing modules it will not really do anything so I'm also going to turn on the form builder examples module and in a future episode I may cover its integration with the web form module as well but for now we'll just stick with the examples module after I install that there's another there's a link that's been added to this navigation section and I click on that and it's a form builder example. It comes stock with a bunch of our form elements already added. I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of some of these. So we can start with a blank form. So I'm going to go ahead and start by adding some checkboxes. You can then edit this. then I'll add a couple options here. You can also set it so you can customize the keys of the actual values which will give you um, the ability to actually customize what will be sent in when it's selected not just what's displayed to the user. And you can also make this required so they have to select one. Now that I close that you can see I have checkboxes here. I can click on this export tab at any time and it gives me the code here that I can drop into a module and it'll actually be a working form at that in that once you copy this in and you get it set up it'll just work the only thing that you need to notice is this is only going to give you the code to display the form it's not going to necessarily give you the code of how to handle where the f data goes once it's submitted or any other extra validation you may need it's also it does just name this with a random looks like a collection of numbers maybe based on the timestamp so you may need to change this to be something a little more readable for you so you can better handle the output of the form and you're also going to make sure you add a submit button if you do somehow take this form code and drop it into a module we'll go ahead and add a couple other things here So you can see as I'm changing this, it is modifying the actual form element here. You can easily rearrange things in the form builder. We can also make an image. If we want a number selector, we'll have a number field. You can add a prefix, and you can see it'll add a prefix here. You set a default value. So as you can see, it's very useful, easy to use. Allows you to easily and quickly build out various form elements. And basically saves you 
potentially some time if you've never built out a form with the form API before this can be a good starting point if you've already built out many form structures you probably aren't going to find a lot of use for this It's kind of more of a in the example modules more of a proof of concept to try to provide that centralized Ajax interface for building out various forms whether it's web forms or in this case just building out form code that you can then export and put in your own module but it is kind of handy especially if you are unfamiliar with building out form API structures and you want to have just the example code to go off of when you're building your own it can give you that good head start and in some cases you know you may find it to be actually faster than writing the code yourself maybe you can build your form here export it out and drop it into a module much faster than writing the code yourself uh, go ahead and give it a try and see what you think see if it is useful I've never really used it on forms because I didn't know about it until recently but I can see how if you are a newcomer and you're trying to learn how to build forms using the Drupal form API getting a little head start with the code and then examining what code is given to you here can be potentially useful and it can obviously give you a quick jump start on building those longer forms out so that's it for this time on the daily dose of Drupal and we'll be back again next time thank you for watching